Hi there, it's Thursday the 15th of October 2020. We are continuing to look at how to how to find balance in our lives, how to keep our balance in life. In these days, of course, it's very challenging to do that. And just like a tight rope walker, we have to try and maintain that balance so that we don't fall off and find ourselves in trouble. One of the things that is challenging for us to keep our balance about in life is in regard to compassion. To maintain a compassion balance. I wonder if you've ever thought about this. You know, it's very easy to look out at the world and see all the needs that there are in the world and to be overwhelmed. Of course, we can be very easily overwhelmed. We have our own needs, of course, and as we were saying, yes, it's important for us to look after ourselves, um, but not focus our entire lives on ourselves. But it's important that we do look after ourselves. So we have needs. And then, of course, there are needs in our family and needs with other people that we know. And again, it's important for us to look after others, but not, of course, overbalance in that direction so that we become burned out by looking after people too much and we then neglect ourselves. And that's not right. But when we look even wider than that, we see the needs that there are in our communities, amongst our neighbours, um, and, and in our world, and in the whole world, there are so many needs. I don't know how many um, times you have looked at something on the television or thought, oh, look at look at those people, look at these poor people in that in that tsunami hit area, or look at these poor people in this other country, or or look at this situation which needs help and needs funding and needs support and such like. I don't know whether you are somebody who gives to charity, whether you're able to do that. Of course, it is a blessing to be able to give. And the Bible says it's more blessed to give than to receive. And it's it's wonderful to be able to give. But when you start to give and then you look at another worthwhile charity and you think, oh, really, they need my money as well. So what do you do? Do you take it out of one and give to the other or do you increase your giving and, and start up another direct debit to somebody else? But then what about what about the need for clean water? What about the need for looking after an environment? What about the need to save the endangered species of the world? What about the need for looking after animals that are abused in our own nation? What about the need for looking after women who are being trafficked into the sex industry. And what about this? What about that? Where, where do you stop with something like that? And we can feel so guilty that we're not able to give and support <clears throat> all the different needs that there are out there. What do we do about that? How do we maintain that balance, that compassion balance between, on the one hand, not caring, which is not something we want to do, and on the other hand, caring so much that we just become overwhelmed and we, we become financially ruined because we are giving beyond our means. How do we maintain that balance? Well, once again, we look to God's word because God's word has the answer for everything. And again, we look to the life of Jesus. And again, we see an amazing example in Jesus' own life and ministry about how to maintain this balance of compassion. Mark chapter 1 in verse 32, very early in Jesus' ministry, it says, That evening after sunset, the people brought to Jesus all the sick and demon-possessed. So here are some of the needs of that particular society at that time. The whole town gathered at the door, and Jesus healed many who had various diseases, and he also drove out many demons, but he would not let the demons speak because they knew who he was. So there is Jesus responding to the needs showing compassion because it's wrong for us to not show any compassion so Jesus he shows compassion but then it's very interesting and as we read on the next verse says very early in the morning while it was still dark Jesus got up left the house and went off to a solitary place where he prayed so there he was looking after himself he was re-energizing he was again fixing on God and getting from God all the energy and nourishment that he needed for his own soul and life. And Simon and his companions went to look for him and when they found him they exclaimed, everyone is looking for you. Here are the overwhelming needs turning up in Jesus' doorstep once again, demanding his attention, just as they are today on our doorstep, in our email inbox, online, etc. And note what Jesus says. Jesus replied, let us go somewhere else. 
wow, Jesus, why didn't you respond to all of those overwhelming needs? Why did you go somewhere else? So Jesus left and went somewhere else. Why? Because he was maintaining that balance within his life between not caring and caring too much. He had shown his care. He had responded to the needs of the people there as much as he felt it was right for him to do at that time. And then, even though there was still all the needs there, he went somewhere else. And you know, that's what we need to do as well. We need to follow the leading of God's Spirit and respond to those needs as he directs us to and show compassion at the time, but also to leave other needs that are legitimate needs, but to follow the Spirit without guilt and without fear and to go somewhere else. May God grant you and grant me the blessing of being able to maintain that balance of compassion in our lives. God bless you. Speak to you again tomorrow.